just to have somebody there right when, uh, you know, they're in a time of need, uh, you know, could end up saving some lives. Right now at 6, battling the area's heroin crisis. The Mahoney County Sheriff's Office is working on a new program to help in the fight. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. The plan is to keep those who have overdosed from doing it again. Sheriff Jerry Green outlined the plan today and told First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti how it could impact local families. It's our top story at 6. Having already put together a task force to go after those who supply fatal overdoses of drugs and supplying local police departments with OD reversing naloxone, Mahoning County Sheriff Jerry Green admits finding the key to break the cycle of addiction remains elusive. Sometimes you feel like you're uh, paddling backwards going up a stream. Uh, this seems to be something that, that, that may work. This morning, the sheriff told county commissioners he's applying for a $150,000 state grant to put together what he's calling a quick response team to help those who survive opioid overdoses. It's law enforcement and it's counselors and it's people from the medical field and even the church community. The intervention program, which is patterned after others now set up in other parts of the state, would send deputies as well as drug recovery and mental health experts in to meet with addicts and their families within a day or two of an overdose. We don't want them to relapse. We don't want them to overdose again. And maybe Alki Santamis, a director with Meridian Care Services, says often addicts don't realize the services that are available to help them get clean. For those drug offenders, it's easy to find drugs, but they really don't know how to go about getting treatment. This way, we'll educate them. We'll give them that information right there, right there in their homes. The sheriff hopes to receive the grant soon enough to have the QRT in place within the next month. I have a feeling a year from now you're going to have people testifying uh, that this type of an intervention will be will be beneficial. And that would mean lives could be saved as well. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.